Hello everyone and I hope you're doing great. Now today we're looking at our third method in solving for T1 and T2. And this method is the simultaneous equation method. If you think about it, which is a beautiful thing, is that T1 and T2, they are acting simultaneously on the 50 kg mass. Now what we're going to do first is to convert this diagram into a free body diagram. As we have done in the previous lesson, we are also going to quickly find the x and y components of both t1 and t2. So for t1 x component, which is in a negative direction, it is negative t1 cos 40 degrees. That of t2 is t2 cos 30 degrees. For the y component of t1, it is t1 sine 40 degrees. And then that of t2, it is t2 sine 30 degrees. Now once we have this, we can go and find now our sum of the components. And so let's start with the x component. And so the sum of the x component again is equal to zero because the body is in equilibrium. And so the sum of um, the x component will be that of t1 plus that of t2, all right? And it's equal to zero. Now, from this, we also can represent that um, t1 cos 40 degrees is also equal to t2 cos 30 degrees. Now let's jump into the sum of the y components. And so for the y component section, the sum again is also equal to zero because the body is in equilibrium. Notice that we have T1 and T2 going upwards in terms of the y components. And then the 490 newtons, which is the, which is the weight of the object, is acting downwards. And so therefore, the total force in the y component will be T1 sine 40 degrees plus T2 sine 30 degrees minus the 490 newtons. All right, and so from this, we can also have this equation as well, which is T1 sine 40 degrees plus T2 sine 30 degrees equals to 490. All right, so here now from this, we're going to plug out our two primary um, equations. And so what we're going to get here is the sum of the x component and the sum of the y components, all right? And so from this, again, they are, they are simultaneously acting on the mass, all right? And so therefore, our simultaneous equation is much applicable. All right, so from this, what we can do here is to kind of work out the, the cost and the sign of the angles. And so for the x component, we have that. And for the y component, we have this, all right? So you can use a calculator and just practice as well as I go along. All right, once we have these two equations now, we need to make the equations equal, pretty much. All right, so what we're going to do is to multiply the top one by 0 0.5 and then the bottom one by 0 0.866, all right, to kind of make the, the T2 um, equal, all right? So once we have done that, notice that T2, they are actually equal. And so since they're equal now, what we can do here is to subtract the equation from the bottom one from the top one, right? Now, what you get as a result here when you do that is negative 0.94 T1 equals to negative 424.34. Now, from this, we can find T1 quite easily. And so, therefore, T1 now will equal to minus 424.34 divided by negative 0.94. And so... The answer there is 451.43 newtons. Notice it is slightly, slight, slight, slight different from what we have calculated in the previous method, but the same answer pretty much. All right? And so let's find now our T2. So to find T2, what we need to do is to actually substitute the T1 into one of our primary equations. So let's put the primary equation right there, which is coming from this equation here. All right, so 0 0.643 T1 plus 0 0.5 T2 equals to 490. So that's coming from one of our primary equation. And so once we have that, we're going to substitute T1 into this equation. And so what we get here is 290.269 plus 0 0.5 T2 equals to 490. All right, again, we're going to put the like terms together and leave T2 as the subject of the formula. And so therefore, we have 490 minus 290.269 divided by 0 
Hence, the answer is 399.462 newtons. All right, so I hope you really enjoy this lesson as I do. And I really want to thank you for watching this lesson. And I want to remind you that true change is within. So do not focus on the outside. Focus on changing from the inside going out. Once you're good inside, it will be beauty on the outside. All right, so anyway, have a great and blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon, all right?